Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cool effect you see in the thumbnail. So let's jump right into it. First off, I always get my photos from this website, which is awesome. I find so much royalty free stuff and you can use it both commercially and not commercially. Um, but I just think it's the best. Um, so pexels.com. I just look in here if I can find an image that I like. For example, I could use this leaf. Just click on the arrow and it'll download it for you. Then just put it to the side and just drag it into Photoshop. Press enter. I usually then just remove the background and it doesn't have to be precise because we're going to liquefy everything anyways later. So just go to select subject. It'll automatically detect your subject and I'm just gonna click here to add a layer mask to it so that I can make adjustments if I have to. And there you go, our background is gone. Now we wanna add a new background. So just click here and add a gradient or solid color or whatever background you wanna make. I'm gonna go with a radial one and I'm gonna go a little crazy with the colors and um, adjust the scaling. So something like this, and I'm gonna place it on the back. I'm then gonna right click and convert it to a smart object cause we're gonna liquefy everything later. I'm going to double click over here on my leaf layer and I'm gonna add a bevel and emboss effect and I'll play with the settings of this. The weirder it looks, the better it's gonna be. So we like weird. Something like this look, kinda looks cool. We're then gonna add an inner shadow and choose the color you wanna use. And just play around with these settings. Sometimes I just go randomly so that I get the weirdest type of results. And we're going to go with a gradient overlay and I'm going to go with some gold colors. So something like this. Press OK. I'm going to change the inner shadow color to more like a gold color. And um, you can add you can add basically any of these. Um, let's add a satin maybe, kind of like that. Pretty cool. Press OK when you're happy with it. Then I'm going to select my background. I'm going to go to Filter Liquify, and I'm basically going to liquify everything. Just go crazy with it. Right, press OK. I'm then going to go to filter liquify on our leaf as well. Oops. There we go. Just go crazy with it. Doesn't have to look like a leaf at the end of this. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change the uh, gradient because I want it to. I want it to match more of the background we have. <coughs> so probably something like this, or maybe more like this
Okay, something like this looks pretty cool. I'm going to right click and I'm going to rasterize layer style when I'm sure I'm not going to make any adjustments and go to filter and liquify this as well. Doesn't have to look like a leaf anymore. We don't really care. We're just going to make some abstract stuff. Then I'm going to group everything. Command J to duplicate it. Right click, convert to smart object. And I'm going to go to filter, camera raw filter. And over here, I'm going to crank up everything and just play around with these sliders. I usually don't have a plan in advance. I just look at what I like at that moment. So sometimes I'm just going to throw everything out. Sometimes I end up loving the result, but um, you never know. I then like to use the color mixer and go crazy with the colors as well. And you can change the saturation of them as well, luminance, basically everything. I think I'm actually really liking the background, but not the leaf. So I'll press OK when I'm happy with it. I'm going to, uh, since I don't really like the leaf, I want to get rid of it. And that's turns handy to us that we made the group before so that I can basically just delete the leaf just a click and drag the effect so from this one I dragged it onto this one which is the copy that I have without the leaf so pretty cool. Um, I then have some cool textures that I like to add to it. Film dust textures. These are always nice. I usually just resize and just change blending mode to something like screen or lighten or whatever turns to look out best. Um, I'm then gonna go with also some plastic textures. And finally, I'm gonna select my background or my image. And I'm gonna go to filter, noise, add noise. I love some good noise. I usually add about 8%. Press okay. And that's basically it. Pretty cool. Uh, sometimes it turns out I love it, sometimes I don't like it like the leaf. I end up deleting it or starting over again. But that's the whole point. I really like the process of this. There's a no going back sort of thing. So you try and not um, rasterize uh, your layers, but in this case, I, I like to do so because I like the fact that I can't go back if I want to change something. It's sort of like a creativity thing, I guess. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe, comment down below if there's, if you have any requests for next tutorials, I post every single day. So keep that in mind. If you want to see a tutorial, you can just comment down below and I'll try and, and make that happen. 
Mm, also follow me on Instagram. I post there every single day as well. And up to my TikTok, I post the shorter version of these tutorials. They're all about a minute long. If some, most of them are actually like 30 seconds long. So if you get bored easily on YouTube, just go check out my TikTok. Um, and yeah, I'll just see you guys tomorrow.